Welcome back, Zerke fans, to what was originally going to be the June 2018-21 tournament. This is a match that was done. This is a replay because I didn't manage to do it originally. So those of you watching on YouTube, you'll be seeing like this quarterfinals and then the live stuff. So this happened after the live stuff, but I'll sort it out so it's roughly the same order. And won't give anything away. So FC versus RAR, quarterfinals, as they both managed to get into top seed. So... Let's play it out. Gecko Isle, a map which I harp on a lot about Reclaim about because it's a map where you get a lot of Reclaim. And RAR knows it. Like, you get 2,000 Reclaim in your base pretty easily. And that doesn't really go as well for FSC. FSC is going for much more of an aggressive strategy, which is an interesting choice. I don't totally agree because, again... Okay, I sort of agree because if you manage to punish your opponent's workers, then that's great. And at the same time, there is a Quill. So FFC is definitely going for that that reclaim strategy. So both players going for potentially for reclaim. Actually, no. RAR not going for reclaim. What? The, okay. Fine. RAR instead going for more static economy. At the same time, RAR already with the defenses. So RAR was on point when it came to defending. That's kind of why I disagreed with the dagger. I could sort of see for scouting purposes, but at the same time, I don't totally understand. And why aren't people going for reclaim? There's so much reclaim. It's faster. I mean, okay, yeah, they don't have much power yet, but still, it's, you know, it'll go into storage, it'll be fine. You're not going to excess on it initially, immediately. I don't understand what that what motivation is. Maybe they're just worried about stuff. I, they'll, I imagine they'll get to reclaim later. I know, I harp on that. A lot. Because this map has so much of it that it's extremely useful. Like I said, 2,000 metal reclaim. It's like you extra 10 metal per second for a good three minutes at the start of the game. That could be huge. But neither player is going for it, which is interesting, because it means that neither player is getting the advantage, but it also means both players could theoretically take advantage of that later on in the match once Static Economy becomes harder to come by. Because, of course, as the match progresses and players start to divide up the map, then at that point, Reclaim becomes a little more marginally valuable, since that's the only source of extra income you have. So maybe that's the game the players are playing. Go for the Static Economy while it's safe, and then go for the Reclaim once you have to. And I can respect that, but I also figure, you know, if you go for the Reclaim, get the extra money off that, you can use that to better secure more metal extractors and then have a stronger static economy. Rather than going for the 3 minute plus 10 burst. Like mid-game. When plus 10 is not double your income. At any rate, we should probably see that fairly so shortly. I'm imagining this quill will start going for it, but at the same time, highly some aggression coming from FFC. I mean, they already started in with those daggers and they're not stopping with them. Trying to find some way in to deal some damage. I guess they probably are looking for the Reclaimers, actually. Trying to figure out if they're, they can find anything. But nope. That might be exactly what the thought, thought process is. You don't put the Reclaiming workers out in the front. Stray Daggers can't get them. You have the better defenses for them. At the same time, that's exactly what FFC is doing. Getting those defenses up in the middle of the map. Allowing them a bit better control over the map. And therefore allowing them to take those resources when they want to. And yeah, there it is. RAR is going for the reclaim. They just want to make sure it's secure. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Because, yeah, you can be punished pretty hard if you try to go for the reclaim without having a whole lot of security around it. And we see already, yeah, RAR going for a bit of secure reclaim. Nothing, no giant sweeping circle of reclaim around the entire map. Just tiny little reclaim bits here and there. Just to get, get what is effective. That's an interesting strategy. I never really thought about that, but that is really cool. So... Well done on that. And it's clearly working, because FFC cannot really stop the reclaim effectively, or can't really stop a lot of the economy effectively, because of the defenses around that'll stop the daggers. I mean, they're sweeping around the desert trying to find what they can, trying to see if they can find any reclaiming units and stop them, but not easily, no. I mean, if they go around the back, they would. But still, it's not always easy to know exactly where you should go to hunt the reclaiming units down. Still, FFC does have an economic advantage no matter what. Unfortunately, does not have the production capacity to actually make use of that. While RAR does, that is going to be a very short, or very quick advantage for RAR. Once they manage to get that built up, we should see it go from, like I said, slight economic disadvantage for RAR to a massive military advantage. Unless a caretaker comes up very shortly, and it could very well I mean the quills going to be built up. Could go with that, but I don't know. It's not really set up to do that. It's up. It's not really been actually queued for anything yet. Okay, please tell me that's a caretaker, because it looks like it could very well be. So with that, though, it does put FFC in a position where if they get a couple of caretakers, they could easily push ahead. 
And there's one caretaker. Probably build another one around the back, but there's not a whole lot of room for it, so I can't say I'm surprised. It is a bit tricky to find the space on this little plateau in the middle of the map. But even then, the problem more so for FSC right now is the fact that they did excess a lot. They don't have much of an army, and they're going to have a hard time dealing with these forces coming in here. I mean, the outlaws alone are just keeping the daggers completely unable to do anything. The mace might be able to do some damage, but there's all the rogues there that are basically the perfect counter. So, again, not really a whole lot of options. I would like to see a bunch of halberds. That's what I want to see. Like, build a bunch of halberds. FFC instead go for the penetrator. I mean, lance. Not what I would have gone expected, but it's not a terrible idea. I mean, it'll take a couple shots to deal with the shield ball, but once it deals with the shield ball, the shield ball will be dealt with. It'll be gone. It's not just going to be damaged or a little bit inconvenienced. It's going to be destroyed. So at the very least, FFC able to get rid of some of that excess, and that's good, because it should make that lance come up just in time. I think if the mace goes down, that's going to be fairly big. If the mace is able to stay alive, then that can be used to push back with the daggers. But if it goes down, then the daggers aren't really going to have a whole lot of support for us to go forward. The penetrator can't, or the lance can't really push forward either. Like, it's going to be able to tear apart the shield ball reasonably well. But even then, this close to the map, like... If that mace goes down, the, pen the lance won't have anything else stopping anything from getting up to it. But, oh, when the mace does go down, that's that leaves nothing. The lance essentially is entirely on their own. The daggers are out of position, and that lance could very well go down right now. The shields at least are up, but the lance not able to reload in time. Thanks to that slow, only able to ever get one shot off. It's exactly what I was afraid of when I saw that mace go down and get damaged. It's like, if that mace is gone, then it's over. And that mace just died, so I don't know what FFC really has. They have plenty of economy. They have a lot of space that they have control over, but they have no production capacity. And that pretty much entirely defined the game, is that they had, like, look at their numbers. Come on, close, will you? Or, shrink. Look at the numbers. I mean, FFC did not use 3,000 metal. They accessed 3,000 metal. If you look at the attrition difference, I mean, that's about, like, it's about, there's a 400 metal difference that RAR basically got on top of what they already had. But just in terms of excess, had FFC spent that, the fact that RAR destroyed all that army, metal-wise at least, would not have mattered. FFC would have been able to have a large enough army that RAR wouldn't, even if RAR had gotten that attrition, it would have been essentially parody. And RAR probably wouldn't have gotten that attrition because FFC would have had a much larger army with which to fend off RAR's assault force. FFC looking to go for a backup cloaky factory, at least they have something. They got cloakbot factory built up, should be able to build up a bunch of, looks like it'll be mostly Rockos, or Ronin. So, that's a good choice. We'll be able to get that shield ball done without too many issues. But the shield ball's already in the back side of the base. I mean, it might be able to be destroyed, but the main problem, of course, is the next shield ball. The fact that RAR has all this production capacity and all this economy, while well, FFC is struggling to get their production capacity back online. At the very least now, between their commander, the caretakers, and the factory, they are able to use all the metal they have. So they can just start spamming out Ronin. And that's not a bad counter to what's being built, but unfortunately losing their main base and a lot of their backside expansion in the process, and having this giant shield ball in their back line, ripping everything apart, that is not going to be useful going forward. That is very bad. So, I don't see what really FSC can do other than what they're doing right now. Just go to the mass run, and I like the tick. That's another good choice. Oh, actually, no, 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 I don't like the tick. Unless they were to get a gunship plant and were able to bomb that in, the outlaws would stop it way in advance. Like, I see the logic for the tick, but the problem is outlaws counter ticks hard. So, that's not going to work. And I think FFC realizes that they just can't hold on to any of their economy, and that... That puts Rara ahead in the semifinals. FFC goes down into the lower bracket finals. Face off against the winner of the other quarterfinals match. So, stay tuned for that. Well, on YouTube, at least. Again, this is a replay, so... Yeah, the... the... Those of you on YouTube, just humor me that this was the quarterfinals cast and then we'll watch the next quarterfinals cast and of course on twitch it's just part of the exhibition match anyway so yeah that was a fc did mention they didn't really like that game and i can totally see why that must have hurt oh well i mean that's that happens sometimes yeah this game actually can get really overwhelming sometimes and a map like that is when you have to deal with all the reclaim and everything Eesh. Bit tough to work with. See, so yeah, I think that's going to be it for me today. It's, eh. Kind of a couple of 
a couple of matches. <laughs> Don't want to say anything outright bad. It was, it was two matches that happened. So anyway, that is going to be it for me. Thanks for watching, and have a good night, everyone.